Scott, and thank you, friends and parishioners. Actually, I, I would like to say friends. Uh, uh, we do have a forum uh, today, and uh, uh, let's get on to the very first um, uh, thing on our agenda, which is approval of our minutes of uh, March fifth, twenty twenty. And and Scott, I just had a quick question. Is it okay if I do not follow the exact because we do not have formalized rules? So I won't go with the motions the way we have, but make an informal uh, sure. request. That's fine. Is that okay? Mm -hmm. That's that just okay? fine. Yep. And, uh, so, commissioners, friends here, um, do we have uh, and can we approve the minutes for uh, March 5th, uh, 2020, which Scott has uh, shared with us? As the second page. I will move that we approve. We approve. Thank you. Thank you, Bob. And then I have my second page. Oh, okay. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Still very nice. We do not have, do we have a discussion or anything like that on the minutes? Do we, hmm? do we have a discussion or anything on the minutes? Do we get that? All in, all in favor? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. All in favor? Yeah. 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 All right. Yeah. Yeah. The only right. thing I, I told Mike. You know, Mike is on the Civil Rights Commission. Yes. Yes. Michael and, Well, Mike Nelson <laughs> asked me, you know, I told him, no, you know, I'm not, I'm, I'm at an age where I'm ready to relax. And I would get <laughs> Mike, but I told Mike, he felt kind of bad. I said, well, we do a lot, but I think you would be better on the Civil Rights Commission. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> He said he yeah. was going to call you when. Okay. Yeah, I was not, su not surprised that he was selected to do that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he'll be a good, so thank good you. person. So, oh, sorry. I didn't mean to interrupt you. Thank you very much. Let's move on to the next uh, item on our agenda, which is the new business, and that's the review and approval of bylaws. And I think we have been talking about it uh, since January. We had an initial I conversation. Earlier yeah. this year, yeah, right. uh, and then I kind of shared this, uh, threw mm -hmm. it on the agenda for the March meeting for us mm -hmm. to just kind of peruse. Um, this is pretty customary; mm -hmm. it's 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 modeled after other commissions that we have in the city, so mm -hmm. it's nothing glaringly different uh, for this commission. It, but it does kind of just lay out the formalized process of uh, starts with the officers, mm -hmm. uh, the chairperson and vice chairperson, and then, then other officers as necessary mm -hmm. um, through the elections of such. Mm -hmm. uh, the one area where I thought we could have some discussion was uh, on the second, well, page three at, under meetings, regular meetings, uh, 2.1a, the annual meeting for the election of officers of the commission shall be held at the whatever meeting each year. Mm -hmm. um, if you want to select a particular month that we have, I mean, we meet bi-monthly. Um, so six times a year. Six times a year. year. Uh, we meet every other month. Mm -hmm. Every other yeah. month, yep. Mm -hmm. yeah. Or we could even, we don't have to list it as an actual month. It could be the, you could say the, the annual meeting is the first meeting of each oh. calendar year. Calendar year, yes. So if that ends up being either January or February, that's the first. So that would be the end, and that's where you would elect officers. I like that also. I like that also. So the first meeting of each each calendar year. year. Yeah. Okay, I'll make those changes. Yeah. Um, and this, uh, Scott, would run the, this, this, uh, our, when we regularize uh, the way and style of meeting, it would run on the Robert Rule. Of, it's a, it follows the right? Robert's Rule. That's, that's, what, yeah. that's what the whole thing yeah. would be, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay. But still, as a commission, I mean, we've always been, or you always, always have been very flexible, and yes. we just, more discussion based, but this does kind of formalize the process. Absolutely. Uh, Absolutely. But you can still be informal while being formal. You know, that's just the way it is. The regularization. Of Absolutely. The and then uh, it goes through, uh, as you can see, the notice of meetings, the quorum is essentially 50% plus one. Mm -hmm. Right now we only have six. I think the mayor will be appointing someone at some point. I don't know if he's got uh, any ideas, but if, he, if any of you have any suggestions, you would definitely uh, have them apply via the website and the mayor will get that. Uh, okay. So right now we have six, so four is a quorum, so that's why we're that's uh, right. able to move on today. And then uh, going down on page four, uh, section three, meeting attendance. Any commission member who does not attend blank meetings without just cause in a calendar year may be removed as a member of this commission. 
uh, I left that blank. I thought the commission could come up with how many absences are, or I guess absences without reason. Uh, you know, that's for you to decide what number that would be. And, and that's something I think for all of us to uh, uh, really think about for a simple reason, because I'm, I'm trying to compare here while we are talking with the general public library, which meets every month. So it's uh, like four uh, in a year, you know, that's how it goes. Uh, you miss four, four, four and in a year, that, then, then, then exactly, mm -hmm. that's how it goes there, four or five, but that's the number. Sure. Uh, but that's, that's, that's out of 12. Maybe out of 12. <laughs> so that's the difference. Yeah. I, you sure. know, so I was three. thinking like three. Exactly. Three. three. Yeah. So it's exactly yeah. the half yeah. of what you know, if meets. somebody is, is yes. ill yeah. or right. comes on a vacation, or, but mm -hmm. three is half. Yeah, three is half of the six that we yeah, mm -hmm. so three. Uh, is 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 that the, 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 the three something would be yeah. Okay. Yeah. Those changes, and then it's uh, again just goes through the organization orientations amendments as needed. That's really my. It's yeah. It's like I said, pretty customary, but I will formalize kind of the how we how we operate. I mean, in the meantime, Scott, if any, anyone of us has any more questions, mm -hmm. is it okay for us to get back to you? Yes. Like, you know, if yep. anyone uh, has anything that comes up through their mind and if they would like to get, yep. is that okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, Thank could you. We, could we say with the majority here today that we approve this preliminary? Is that okay? Yeah, so we'll, yeah we can okay. go ahead. Uh, could someone can uh, offer a motion to approve the bylaws with the additions that we just discussed? With the and I will get. Uh, and then if anyone has any additional suggestions, get those to me in the next week or so, so I can add those. Oh, so just take a read through this, but uh, okay. we can consider it, uh, you know, temporarily approved yes. with the changes we've discussed. Okay, thank you. Do, uh, do we, uh, commissioners of the commission, do we have a, like a motion to uh, temporarily approve uh, with the changes? Uh, <laughs> <Go> ahead, <Karen>. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> I, I so move that we accept the temporary position, you know, this until we get everything is final, then we come back and come vote back. on it. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Have a second. Mm -hmm. Yes, sounds yes. good. Yes. If you we, can. we appreciate the work. Yes, <laughs> sincerely. Yes. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah, that'd be good. Because I think that way, <coughs> it was one of those missing pieces that uh, this commission did not have. Right. Mm -hmm. I thought we had bylaws, though. No. no I've never no, seen one. one. We don't know. Not that I could find. No. So, I mean, maybe one. maybe the commission, a long time ago, possibly, but they were never kept or no, yeah. at least. Mm -hmm. Well, so. please put these on file. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's for sure. <laughs> I think we are going to jump to the third topic, uh, which was your business. And Scott, I think you had some updates yeah, so, for us. And I'll start, uh, let me start with firefighter first. Mm -hmm. uh, so I think applications for firefighter will open in October. Okay, so okay. if you know of any people out in the community that are interested in becoming a Davenport firefighter this fall, they will have the opportunity mm -hmm. to do that. Um, based on the, the it, it, it's my hope but I'm not so sure that's gonna happen. I would like to have uh, firefighter applicant workshops like we've done for the police, police. officer, but given the, um, the virus, we may not be doing in-person workshops. Yeah. We may do something like what I did for police officer. We actually, me and the chief, we video recorded ourselves giving the workshop. So, and then we put that out. Uh, but it, that's one of those tools that I think is very beneficial. So we'll figure out something, but it may be a social media versus an in-person workshop. But uh, uh, the fire department is uh, is growing. Uh, they're doing tremendous work. They got three brand new fire trucks mm. within this past year, including the, the huge 100-foot aerial truck. Uh, and then mm. they're gonna be repositioning the, I think, uh, Station 5 or 3. I don't know. Yeah, Station 5 at downtown? Maybe, no, it's the one uh, that's just south of the old Blue Jacks. Oh, Harrison okay. and, yeah, yeah. so that one, oh, maybe that's oh. three. Oh. Has but there been more funding or something? Recently yeah, before? and they're going mm -hmm. to be moving that location to where the old Tiki's used to be. Remember on Brady, in between Brady and Welcome Way? 
Okay. The old Chi Chi's. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. oh, really? Yeah, remember Chi Chi's? No. It's a good restaurant. Really? Yeah. 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 Where the North Park? By North Park? By North Park. Are they building a new one? They'll be a brand new one. Yep. That's not the building that's going up now. No, that's, that's a, uh, a car wash. Oh, oh. Right there, yeah. really? Yeah. So the one that had the vacant lot with the flowers. They had the flowers mm -hmm. across mm -hmm. from the long time. So that's going to be, oh. and that's going to be, it's more strategically located for response because you've got Brazier Street where you can head north, mm -hmm. Welcome Way, you can head south, and you, then of course you've got 53rd and, and Kimberly, so it's going to be much. So what they're going to do with the one on uh, 53rd? They won't do Oh, that's dead. That's dead. Yeah. That's dead. Mm -hmm. It's the one next cross though, right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I have it's a plan. Yeah. But, but the yeah. one at, on Harrison on by the that, old Jacks, yep. that'll be that'll abandoned, be or abandoned or repositioned or something. Yeah. yeah. So that's good news out of the fire department. So you know, so again, uh, mm -hmm. within your professional and personal networks, uh, let people fire. know that uh, firefighter uh, will be coming this fall. Scott, just a quick question. But can we find the qualifications necessary somewhere? Not yet. Okay. They'll, they'll be posted when, yeah. Oh, we will have yeah. it online. But okay. uh, we could I think our next meeting is in September. I'll have those for okay. you. Okay. We'll just use yes. that then. Yep. So police officer. So we are in the final stages of the police officer process to uh, kind of go back. Uh, applications ran the entire month of March into the first week in April. We had 111 applicants. Uh, that applied, and the uh, racial and ethnic breakdown of those, 66% of those 111 were Caucasian, 14% were African American, 12% were Hispanic, and 6% were Asian. Uh, where we're at right now, we're in the uh, polygraph and back, we're winding down the polygraph and background investigative phase. We currently have 20 now that are still in consideration. Mm -hmm. So. Okay. Uh, typical out process, 100, 100. out of 111. Yeah, under typical, yeah. typical yeah. process. So you said the last one, it was uh, 12% Hispanic and the next one? 6% uh, Asian. Asian. Yeah. Oh. Um, so in a typical process, you know, then followed after, uh, you know, the first test they take is the physical ability testing, uh, and then the written examination, and those that are passing those go into the polygraph. Mm -hmm. uh, so we went from 111, yeah. then we got, we're down to 20 this, at this point, because 30 went into the background investigative component, but 10 have already been disqualified okay. due to their background, oh. not passing the background. Uh, so we've got 20. Of that 20, 65% are Caucasian, 5% are African American, 10% are Hispanic, and 10% are Asian. Okay. A more clear breakdown of that um, is it 65% was it Caucasian, what was the other? Uh, so, so of the 20, uh -huh. 13 are white males. Okay. I'm going to say it this way because it will be more clear. Mm -hmm. One, African American male. Mm -hmm. Two, Hispanic males. Two, Asian males. And two, white females. That's potentially the 20 that will be on the list. So 13 white males, one black male, two Hispanic males, two Asian males, and two white females is where we're at. So it looks like we would, we, you know, it may boil down to being officially only white police officers that are selected. Well, I'm, my, I'm hopeful yeah. that the uh, the one, the two, and the two, you mm -hmm. know. Yeah. Because I, I, I know um, uh, the, in, in the entire testing process, I've got to meet all, all the applicants, of course, and talk to them. Uh, I think the, the two Asian males and the two Hispanic males and potentially the, the white uh, male as well, good quality candidates. So yeah. we'll see. Mm -hmm. But that's just based on quick conversations yeah. or yeah, testing. Yeah. So yeah. they're at least at this point. So the uh, list goes to the Civil Service Commission on July 22nd. Uh, for certification, and then of course, once that list is certified by civil service, employment offers will be given out. Mm -hmm. And the next police academy is at the end of August. How long is the police academy? Sixteen weeks. With the state of everything that's been going on, have there been any additional like requirements or certifications in order to qualify, or is that something that we're going to no. wait on nationwide? No, uh, no additional.
additional requirements at this point, at least in the state of Iowa, no changes. Now the only change to the actual police academy is I think the first several weeks are now done via online basis oh. before they bring. I think they're just trying to push it back before mm -hmm. they have in-person people come. Gotcha. So that's, uh, but look, we, uh, at this point, the last conversation I had with the command over there is at least three will be sending. Okay. So. Sending to the police the academy. academy. And after, um, and just to talk about the process, so they go to the police academy for 16 weeks. Then once they successfully graduate, they come back for a good three to four months of field officer training here. And that's pretty intensive. You know, they learn some of the, some of the foundations at the police academy, but they come back here and then learn, learn the Davenport mm -hmm. process. Uh, and that's pretty critical. And then they're on their own, but they're a probationary officer for a year before so it's, mm -hmm. a, it's a long process. Mm -hmm. And given the state of, uh, I've always taken the hiring of and the selection of police officers incredibly serious. Yeah. But given the state of everything yeah. in this country right now, you do. I take it even, I'm even more heightened that we right. need to make sure we get the right people mm -hmm. in the job mm -hmm. for the right I reason. I think yeah. it's just imperative that we stay the threat to what our community is. Exactly. Yeah. Right. Yep. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I think, you know, we had that, you know, I think we're doing a lot better in Davenport than other communities across the United States. I think mm -hmm. it's just based on, at least my perception is, um, a lot more uh, community-based policing, a lot more relationships have been built over the years and nurtured over the years. You know, we had that one night, that Sunday night into mm -hmm. Monday morning where that was gangbusters oh, um, yeah. but that's that's that was too. pretty much it and I think it's we've been fairly good mm -hmm. you know we have a few broken windows at the police department as you saw yeah. uh, but and, yeah. you know it was just yeah, that it was just that 36 yeah. hour period mm -hmm. and then we've kind of been quiet mm -hmm. in the, 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 mm -hmm. the marches and the, and the uh, uh, and protests have been pretty quiet I think we were relatively happy the last round that it was a lot more reflective. Yes, it uh, was. Yeah. Yes, we had two black police officers. Yeah. Yes, we did. Yeah. 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 And that was unusual. Yeah. Some of what we're doing is working. I mean, it's yeah, it, it's, 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 it's baby so steps. Yeah. yeah. I seen one of them at Walmart and I was like, you're how, aren't you? And he's like, yeah. Well, I'm Alan. like, yep. <laughs> <laughs> and he was just like, oh. <laughs> yeah, Alan's white. Yeah. 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 They're both on night shift because they're, of course, you know, junior Babies. officers. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> get stuck on you, get the, you get the yeah. shift that people don't know. Uh, uh, and and the young man who, um, I forget his name, he graduated from St. Ambrose. Yeah. Uh, and uh -huh. we talked yes. about him on his, our social uh, media channel. His mom works at IV. Oh, yeah. He, oh, he Hal's mom. Him. And he was from Indiana uh, Police. Hal's mom? Yeah. Yeah. She's been there for a long time. Been there for a long, long Probably time. Probably 20 years. Because I didn't believe him until yeah. I said, girl, how you know him? He said, he's been there for 80 years. Uh -huh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. The people and then uh, the other guy, <laughs> he likes uh, my son finished high school in 87. And her daughter likes the other guy. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Anderson that got the church on Ripley. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, Tori, it's Tori daughter. Tori, oh. Tori daughter, like. Ashley, the oldest? Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. The, the gotcha. oldest one. Yeah. yeah. Cause I think you guys are right along there together. They're right? a couple years younger than me, but my, they're my sister's age. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I think I know them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, I do have a question. Yeah. And I've mentioned this before, but it, it's been quite some time. Um, so are we typically, um, police and firefighter based as far as our focus? Because it seems like that's what we focus on a lot when I see a huge lack of diversity in sure. the other departments, mm -hmm. the other, particularly the city. I've mentioned that no, to absolutely. you before, right? Yeah. You know, things Just like that. Within like, this building. But yeah, yes. what are we yes. going to do <laughs> and when are we going to do it to start, um, Tackling that. I think Absolutely. that it is imperative that we get to that. We are making stride with the police department and the fire department. Don't get me wrong. But I think that there are so many other that we yeah. need to put that same energy into. Because you come into this building or positions like, and you don't see anybody who looks like me, maybe one or two. Yeah. 
You know, like you just don't see it. So when are we going to set trail and 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 really get to going and focusing on that as well? I think that we really need that. It it needs a reform. It Mm -hmm. needs to be inclusive, and it's not. I I would agree with you, but I think it even gets beyond that because I I think there's also been a trend. If you would look nationally how long people stay at jobs Mm -hmm. and how long people stay at jobs with the city or here in Mm -hmm. Davenport, when they get in here, Mm -hmm. they retire here. Oh, yeah, 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 definitely. Yeah, I I can understand that. But then you still should see more people, maybe Miss Spirit Day, they're younger or whatever. You know what I mean? Like in those positions who have the opportunity to retire, and we still don't see that either, which means that our practice hasn't been inclusive for a very long time. And I've, so. even, I've even talked with people, for example, out at Public Works, and I was just, I didn't know, and I was kind of floored. I mean, some, they told me they had three gentlemen mm-hmm. that basically were in charge of repairing sewers and curbs and everything, because we had had a sewer that had caved in and had been that way for almost two years. And he goes, Bob, we only have that many staff. And he mm-hmm. goes, by the time somebody's sick, somebody's on vacation, mm-hmm. or we have the equipment, we just don't have the staff anymore mm-hmm. that we, that it's a, I agree with you wholeheartedly that we don't represent. But I think that there's a lot of other problems or factors that deal into that. I mean, as far as what the budget is, what's available, um, to do the job and, 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 and other get, things. And, yeah, and get to it. Like, but it made a system, you know, yeah. if yeah. I know you. And then you know I me, and then, then we get, yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. I remember I had even mentioned to you before, mm-hmm. just because I've gone to two different, um, like, mass, I don't even know what it was considered when you had to go and take tests or do things like that or whatever, but it's like, okay, you have 500 people apply and their backgrounds aren't necessarily even specific to that. Mm -hmm. You're really not doing any good because you just invited 500 people to apply when when it all boils down, a lot of these people aren't even going to be qualified. So why don't we take the 100 people who have 20 years of experience in this or 10 years of experience in this and bring them in instead of generalizing? I think that we can narrow things down and find the candidates who truly belong in those positions instead of just taking what the test is going to show. Mm-hmm. Because not everybody's good test takers, and I'm one of those. <laughs> sure. yeah, you know what I mean? Understand. Like, it was a clerk position. I had been a loan officer for 13 years. Yeah. Somebody who's done plumbing is not going to do better at this job than I am, but they tested better, so now they're in the pool. Or at least not. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So. Uh, to, uh, to share, share with you all, and I, uh, I'm completely uh, with you on this, uh, and I see the positive, and I... Uh, you know, I, if we can apply, not apply, but see how they make use of, for example, my black man portfolio can I be in, has the conscience of effort to see that we have diversity mm-hmm. uh, on our staff. And we do have that at the library. Like we have people from literally different walks of life. We have uh, some African Americans, Latinos, you know, uh, they don't have an Indian, of course, but, <laughs> 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 but, but uh, we may, uh, we, uh, we make a conscious effort to see that we want them on various mm-hmm. levels, mm-hmm. and maybe you know, as if we could think. But then, of, when they get in those these. positions and treat them like that, is their position? Uh huh. You know when yeah. you guys had Mr. What's his name from Atlantis? Yes. Um, uh, Kevin Thompson. Was it Johnson? Yeah, no, no, no. Mr. Thom- last name is Thompson. Thompson. Uh, he was the he was the head of the public library yeah, before Miss uh, Eames. You know, he said he was going back to Atlanta. He wanted to be back. Well, you know when you <laughs> I don't know when you get a job. That's what I was telling uh, the guy. Yeah. He called me the inclusive from El Cor, and. He asked me, how did I like it? I said, well, when I first went there, you know, I got a lot of vibes, but like I yeah. told them, hey, I'm here to work, mm-hmm. and I got a family, and I got a family to take care yeah. of. Yeah. Yeah. So you're not going to run me away, so you might as well try to get along with <laughs> right. me. And if you can't, 
when you try to fire me, I'm going to take some of you guys out of the office <laughs> with me. I'm not going by myself. Uh-huh. And so they left me alone. You know, mm-hmm. they, gave, they gave you jobs, and they didn't think I could do them, honey. Yeah. I drove a tractor. I did everything but get in the crane. I said, I'm not getting up there dropping no aluminum mm-hmm. on nobody, you know. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But I drove a truck. Mm-hmm. I shipped metal mm-hmm. and all of that. Went to this guy, said, you, you got a college education, why don't you go to the lab? I said, so I applied, mm-hmm. and I think the guy in my, in my super, super boss, I think he's ready to see me go anyway. <laughs> so <laughs> I went, and my boss told him that's the best thing he could have ever done. Mm-hmm. You know, would put us in a position, mm-hmm. and then that's when I went out and tried to recruit Asian, um, yeah. Asian, Mexican. I said, y'all come on. Yeah. You got a, you, you know, you got a good education. Mm-hmm. And it's working with numbers, mm-hmm. but you got a computer if you know how to ask. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I think that's what the city needs to do. I think they need to make the job. You know, but a lot of people if they get inclusive. on the job True. and mm-hmm. if they mistreated then you know they're ready to go, but no. Mm-mm. One small thing that uh, we're working on with NHR and with legal is uh, it's a, a ban the box initiative. So yes. essentially, yeah, on applications, yeah. mm-hmm. uh, it's called ban the, the box. Ban the box. You don't have to mark your race. Race it. Okay. Yeah. Exactly. Got it. And Got it. Uh, yeah. any um, uh, prior criminal history, mm-hmm. at least at the application phase. And then we're taking it a step farther. Uh, and so we're, this is in process. But mm-hmm. when we get applications into our NeoGov system, you know, mm-hmm. we have a, it's an online system. So mm-hmm. when they get in there, mm-hmm. before we send them out to the hiring managers mm-hmm. of the various partners. Uh, mm-hmm. Departments mm-hmm. will be able to uh, remove or redact names, oh, okay. so that no one can. So everyone's looking at just the base Qualific- qualification. Oh my gosh, Scott, that so, is well, yeah, so absolutely that's amazing. That's that's a good, that is amazing. Yeah. Nebraska, yeah. Uh, yes, NACP and Judge Katie. What was the one that really was going to bring that forward, and he passed? It should be. It yeah, genuinely yeah. should be because yeah. then you yeah. are looking at people yeah. for what they can do, mm-hmm. not, not names, who not they more. look like. Yeah. My name, if it comes across your desk, it's a great chance you're going to know that I'm black. You know what I mean? Like, it's just, it's true. Mm-hmm. I knew one white girl named Shonda. My brother used to date her. <laughs> really? Yes. Okay. And I was like, what did you say her name was? He was like, her name is Shonda. I said, for real? You know, and then I, just talking to her, and she yeah. was like, you know, I used to get discriminated against a lot before they see me mm-hmm. because they thought I was black. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And I'm like, oh, well, imagine, mm-hmm. imagine that. So, <laughs> you <yeah>. know? <laughs> so it's going to be interesting. And so, I, don't, I mean, that we're, oh, we, we've, uh, we're in the process of doing that. I would, uh, would say even within uh, another week or oh, several weeks, that'll be the, the new process uh, for amazing. all applicants yeah. moving forward. I haven't uh, looked on the site in probably a year. Ever sure. since at last, I was like, you know what? Yeah. I'm done. Uh, <laughs> I'm done. But I hear you about you know sometimes starting with a, a standardized test. Right. Maybe yeah. that's not always the best way to. Yeah. But that yeah. And it's it's exactly now it starts to what she says reflects to what is happening now in mm-hmm. the college and educational system mm-hmm. where stats and things like that are being dropped not yeah. just because of the pandemic mm-hmm. but that's not representing what that he or she is qualified for. Yeah, sure. It's not. It really, really doesn't. doesn't a lot of times. Because I don't do well in standardized Me either. tests. But, yeah. you know, I have, I know I can do yeah. the job. I'm qualified mm-hmm. for it. Yeah, but, but one silver lining, you know, as we are talking, it came to my mind. It's not got to do with the city, but I think it's the Scott from County Administrator's position. I'm forgetting. Mm-hmm. He's an Indian. Ma- Mahesh. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Mahesh Sharma. He's Charma. an a- a- American He's Indian. of Indian origin. Yep. Mm-hmm. And I was uh, pretty amused when I saw that. Just as you said, you know, the mm-hmm. picture, the name Shonda, you know. Yeah. Uh, yes, you know what <laughs> you it know. is. You know. You know what it is. Yeah. The same way when I read this name, I knew that, mm-hmm. yes, he's an Indian, uh-huh. but he's not from where I am. Right. So that's yeah. how I could have yeah. understood it. So Absolutely. I was happy yeah. about seeing mm-hmm. somebody mm-hmm. in that position. You know. And it's motivation, motivation, too, for other people. Yes. When I, I remember working at the bank, like I was the first black loan off, female exactly. black loan officer that I think IH had had. Exactly. You know, for a very long time. And then... Guess what I did? I went and got other people that I knew and brought them in exactly. because they seen. And then I was number one for like five years. Right. You know what I mean? And then Excellent. I got them in, and then you know they could see that. But then there's this thing where it's like, okay, I always have this extra chip. I always have, you know, like I always feel like I have to do extra. Excellent. And then I started training DPs and was always overlooked for those positions. And then I quit because right. I was right. like, I'm not gonna do yeah. this. Right. <laughs> you know. Well, and uh, so. moving moving forward, you know, I know I'm 
you know, I have a special place in my heart for the police department since I'm the hiring manager. Yeah. Oh, okay. So, okay. Gotcha. so that's a focus. <laughs> of course. And of course, of yeah. course. <laughs> firefighters, because that's another public facing. But yes. well, we can start, of I can on uh, the future agendas listing uh, some of those full time positions that we've got Please. citywide. Right here in the city hall. Yep. And really? police can kind of yeah. take a look at how they're looking. Mm -hmm. You know, I can even see if uh, at some point Courtney Jones, who uh, does a lot of the uh, the recruitment and stuff for the other positions mm -hmm. that's in our yeah. office, so she mm -hmm. could maybe attend to okay. discuss some things and have some back and forth and yeah. just that talk about some amazing. ideas on <laughs> how we can increase. Yep. Yeah, because right. yeah, this be this great. building <laughs> is pretty white. Yes, yes. and then yes. I've yeah. felt since I've been on the commission, I'm like I understand where we're going with these two, but there's yeah. a part of me that sits mm -hmm. back and I'm like, okay, I'm not necessarily bored, but I'm ready for something Absolutely. Yeah. else. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, that, that <laughs> sounds and, perfect. You know, That's good. and you bring I know you bring up an absolute logical point because yes. in one of our past meetings we talked something similar mm -hmm. that you, you know, you know should we be going out? <laughs> part of it may be some real simple things, I mean, where are we advertising it? Yep. Mm -hmm. How many applications mm -hmm. are we getting? I mean, just some simple changes might increase the, the yeah. mix. Absolutely. Without yeah. having, and every, yeah. every department does something a little differently. I mean, we utilize social media, and yeah, of yeah. course we yeah. tell people to go to our website, because that's where yeah. they're listing mm -hmm. them. Every, I know that they are, they are in, either in the process of, there's a, a new uh, data analyst for the police and fire, looking at, uh, there's going to be a new position that's going to be housed up in our legal department, but looking at incidences of, I think, uh, any racial occurrences uh -huh. or anything like that, there's going to be someone that's analyzing uh -huh. the data. Uh -huh. And I think they are attempting to uh, uh, advertise that at historically black colleges, because I think yeah. they want to, they want to find someone of Diverse, color uh, yes, or color, ethnicity, yeah. diversity, yeah. something like person. that. Diverse awesome. person. This brings me, as you are sharing, this brings me to, and this is something, and I know everything cannot be applied here, but with everything going on, and as you appropriately said today, trying to advertise in mm -hmm. appropriate places, these critical positions, I have been hearing uh, from friends and family outside of our country that even their police forces and their governmental you know, employees mm -hmm. need not be police forces, but let's mm -hmm. say people in this building, let's say that. Mm -hmm. They have started history lessons. It's not just, you know, the bias training and things like that, mm -hmm. but they've started giving history lessons, you know. I mean, it's not an everyday people, mm -hmm. but you know, you have to like, you know, what would you call it? Uh, review, no, not review. Um, every, no, I mean, it's different every, culture and, different, and that, you know, because yeah. that's what I, my son told me, and I told him I had clean forgot about it. He said, Mama, you remember when I come back here from California, he said, we was in Rock Island, and they gave him a ticket. And when he went across to the courthouse to uh, pay the ticket, pay the, the police stopped him and gave him a ticket, said he was jaywalking. <laughs> oh, my uh, goodness. But see, Bill, black guy, you know, and I told him, he, I said, honey, I, I just took it out of my mind. I just went on paid the ticket. But I taught them, you know, Everybody, you know, is not, you, you're not fearless, you know, because when my kids were small, we was at the doctor's office, and this lady, she ran her baby, and my, and my son said, oh, you so pretty. You know, she grabbed the purse. What is a little child going to do with a purse? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So oh, you yeah. have to teach them. Mm -hmm. And I told them, I'm really not biased because uh, Ralph, you know, that's on the commission, he married to a white woman. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. he was on his way home last year. Mm -hmm. And the sheriff stopped him. And where you going? He said, I'm going home. He said, where you live? He said, in DeWitt. He said, only black folks live in DeWitt. Mm -hmm. You know? Mm -hmm. But then they got to be the best of friends. And I told him, when they talk to you like that, you kind of go back and say, well, follow me home. Yeah. And I'll show you where I live. Mm -hmm. You know, don't get all excited because, see, yeah. when you do, they think, and you really, you know, because I said, like, when I get excited, I get talking loud. <laughs> 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 uh, you know, I don't mean no harm. It's just, it just my character. Mm -hmm. It's style that mm -hmm. you put. Yeah, I'm trying to get my yeah, point across. Yeah, yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. No, I mean, and, and, the, and, and, and so were, this generation, that's what I told yeah. my husband. I said, this generation, I'm proud of it. 
white, yellow, black, blue, and brown, they together. <laughs> Every rally you've been to, you don't see too many of us out there. Mm -hmm. But they are there because it matters. Mm -hmm. And it goes back to 1863. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, when they brought them all over here. Mm -hmm. And when they brought them over here, they make sure you my my sister called me yesterday. She said, girl, we flying them Confederate flags. We getting rid of them. Yeah, in Mississippi? In Mississippi. They are. Yeah, yeah they are. But, you know, yeah. see, if you wasn't taught that, because, mm -hmm. see, my kids went to school up here. They wasn't taught all that stuff. Because mm -hmm. when my baby come home, he said, mama, guess what? Columbus discovered America. <laughs> well, Columbus was drunk. He didn't discover America. <laughs> <laughs> you know, My son gets but to see, they taught them that. <laughs> but when I would go home, mm -hmm. I would go get books from my old sixth grade teacher. Mm -hmm. And I told my kids, I said, I want you to know your culture. Mm -hmm. I want you to know where you come from. I want you to know, and I got an aunt that's 101, and she's, she's more wiser than me, I think. But she can tell you some stories. But we are not fearful. You know what I'm saying? We are not mean. Because if we was, we'd kill up everybody. We love every, we was taught to love the one that mistreats you. Mm -hmm. yeah. But so this generation, I think they're gonna get it yeah. over. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I hope we try. Oh no, they are because <laughs> you know, they try. Yeah, uh -huh. this girl that the Kelly girl that got killed, they thought she was some kin to us. Oh yeah. But her mama was white and her daddy was black. Mm -hmm. The man that killed her knew her. Mm -hmm. And they had it on the TV the other night. Yeah. You see what they said? Mm -hmm. He said, in two years, y'all be, they'll be celebrating y'all with T-shirts. Mm -hmm. And what did that mean? He was going to kill her. And then they said they died from a gunshot when Sissy Sissy came. Mm -hmm. So we need to, you know, we just need to be educated. That's all it is. Yeah, I, and I feel, I, and, the, and the reason I would say that is, you know, I, I'm not against the bias trading and things like that that happens. I, please don't take me wrong. Mm -hmm. But I feel, you know, just as we are teaching at the universities, uh, the nurses, mm -hmm. uh, you know, how to deal with their different patients yeah. who come from different uh, mm -hmm. yeah. communities. Mm -hmm. uh, I heard of, uh, in Germany, can I speak to that? I heard in Germany, uh, I heard in New Zealand, in Australia, and I say that very positively because my niece and nephews and everybody mm -hmm. lives there, mm -hmm. and they were talking about how, the, not just the police, okay, it's not just the police. I need education too of American culture, which mm -hmm. you know I got from my American friends when mm -hmm. I came here. The same way, if they, I have started teaching history to uh, uh, police officers, the, uh, mm -hmm. different, uh, yeah. so they understand the culture. Mm -hmm. uh, of the situation and, and and the reason I feel is especially in our country uh, we as much as we in India as a children learned what a US history was my daughter doesn't remember that much as much as I know what US right. history was mm -hmm. so that's not taught here what I knew she doesn't learn even in the high school mm -hmm. yeah. you know so that's just a thought part of it it's not yeah. something to right away to implement but as you guys have taught me yeah. you know some kind of an historical perspective is what right now German police are teaching. Okay. The same way, you know, the firefighters, you know, because they have to go in the house of people, they but don't know. That makes sense. Yes. Yeah. Simply because, I mean, it's no secret that, um, like black, yeah. we kind of have our own language. Yes. And it's original, you know, it, it comes from us being brought mm -hmm. over here. So we yeah. do have our own language. And, and someone could be um, approached by the police and the you know a black person can say something to them now it's not offensive they're not offending no. them they're not trying to but it's it's something that they, a white officer just will not understand you know mm -hmm. what i mean like it's something that if you said i I'll understand what you i know what you meant you know because mm -hmm. it was taught from your grandma's grandma we get it mm -hmm. you know but you can say i could say it and you would what'd you say you know what i mean like so i think that history is extremely important you know it's taking those courses yeah. from the police department to the fire department to you know all of those positions that have more so of public service i think that it is very important so that you can understand genuinely understand or even get a glimpse yeah. you know of why people talk the way they talk communicate communicate the way that they do um and so on and so forth i think is necessary and, and that's something to a certain point scott and all friends here 
uh, I have in an informal way, it's not formal, it's an informal way, I started off with my, cl my colleagues at the university. You know, and because I realized these little, little things like, and this is very small, okay, and this is not a huge, but uh, being, uh, having worked in India as well, having lived in this country for a long time as well, I still was used to the fact when I was brand new, working brand new, like if my colleague was coming out from behind and it's time for me to go home and everybody is going home, my colleague was coming from behind, I would see them come from behind and I would wait, you know, and they'd say, hey, what are you doing? I said, no. You're coming out too, so mm -hmm. that's how we would walk together. Mm -hmm. And you know, I said that's how that's how it worked mm -hmm. with us. You know, it wasn't being nosy to ask no, Shonda no, when no, she no. came yeah. next day to work for me to say if I knew that Shonda's there's something you know there's somebody not well in Shonda's mm -hmm. family. There was nothing wrong. It was not taken that I'm being nosy in her business. Mm -hmm. Whereas I have to be careful. The reason I'm bringing these little things up are these little nuances which I feel we learn quickly when we come to this country and it takes time for the other person to really understand. Mm -hmm. This is what I have realized a with 20 years working here, that there's mm -hmm. a lack of understanding. Mm -hmm. sure. And I don't take it wrong because maybe I came into this country I live in Wyoming, there's not a single <laughs> Michael <laughs> Northern <laughs> Iowa. <laughs> so yeah. So no. it, was, it was my job to put my hand out and say, Hi, hello, Shanda, I'm Mrs. Dr. Shanda. Mm -hmm. you know, that's how I learned what you do in your culture. Mm -hmm. You know, This is how you do what you do. So I'm not, I'm not against it, a broad Scott. You know, we need those bias trainings and mm -hmm. we need all that. Mm -hmm. But I think a little component of, you know, why is his culture like this? Why is Navika talking like this? Mm -hmm. You know. Like a cultural be, awareness yeah. training. So, so like one of my would colleagues, be awesome. that one, one of my colleagues mandatory. Like, it yeah. really should. Yeah. Because be with the number of blacks who are incarcerated or browns who are incarcerated, mm -hmm. you know. Um, well, did you see that lady on TV? They was going to get that guy life. Huh? And she, yeah, she was a basketball. Like that. Yeah, she was huh? going to, she was going to, she was got a lot of accolades and she, mm -hmm. she was wealthy. And they going to give this guy life, and he hadn't done nothing. But life for what? Say he had done something. And he, <laughs> she put her... Yeah, she put her, her WNBA career on hold. Hold, and, really? she, and she to, got him out. To become, like, his advocate. Really? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, because a lot of WNBA yeah. players, they literally have full-time jobs. Because uh -huh. they don't sure. get paid. They yeah, they, they don't get paid. They get paid, like, $35,000, yeah. $40,000 a year. On, yeah. So they have full-time jobs. It was on all the channels. She might have been a lawyer. <laughs> You know, like by day. My husband yeah. said, "This I say he likes to watch cowboys, and I like to know the news. Cause I want to know <laughs> if somebody gonna throw a bomb in my house tonight oh, <laughs> and they're coming over the Quad City, so we can move. Yeah, yeah. you know, you 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 teach your kids. Yeah, mm -hmm. yes. And you know, when you see a crowd of kids, don't go try to get involved with them. Try to if you do nice. try to make them." Mm -hmm. To see your side of it. Mm -hmm. And it's a lot because a lot of these kids has not been taught. They're, they're not being taught by their parents. They're and that's what I'm saying. The the kids is raising yeah. kids. And then they send them to school. The first thing they do is put them in uh, special ed. Yep. So they, they need help. I had a, a, my, my grandson that mm -hmm. I raised. She says, uh, ma'am. I'm going to put your puppy in special ed. And I said, well, I'll be there in a few minutes. I was at work. My boss, I said, I got to attend to some business, <laughs> and I'll be back. So I left the lab, and I went, and she said, well, Miss Kelly, why are you getting so upset? I said, because I want him to learn like his daddy and his Everybody mother. Else. Mm -hmm. She said, well, we'll give him the test, and he don't have to even study. I said, you know what? And when he finished high school, he won't know his name if they had it on a signboard coming down to the city courthouse mm -hmm. and saying, this is Javante Kelly, but he's going to learn. Mm -hmm. So she asked, because if he can read the Bible and pronounce them hard words, some of them I can't. He's <laughs> smart. So when he gets, when I get ready for his little performance, and when I say, baby, if grandma going to go in here with her head Hung up or hung down? He said, "I think it's gonna be hung down because I don't, uh, 
I didn't get no good grades. And I really thought he meant that. And when I got there and he had all A's, he said, oh, Grandma. I said, no, I'm going to Miss Sullivan. <laughs> he was, that was his counselor. She wanted to teach him how to sew. No, I want him to know algebra. <laughs> He's going to get a woman that know how to sew. You see, that, that, really, you know, and this is what I tell parents when I do workshops and stuff. You need to know what your kids is doing. She wanted to teach oh, cooking and sewing. He didn't need that. He didn't need it. I said, yes, you do. Because if you think Columbus discovered America, you really need it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but, but you know something that actually breaks me, and then I actually got to get out of here because I got to get my son uh, from practice. But um, when you were talking about tests, and I was talking about the test before, I came across something a, a, long, a while ago, and it was just talking about how you put a uh, you put a lion, and you put a elephant, and you put a giraffe, and then you put maybe a chimpanzee all in front of the tree, and you say, this is their test, is to climb the tree. None of these animals climb trees except for the chimpanzee. Why are you giving them all the same generalized tests? Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So it's common sense. Yeah, I just, yeah, yeah so it really stuck with you. me because sure. I think mm -hmm. it made a lot of sense. Yeah, it does. <laughs> but mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Good. Yeah. well, good discussion. Right, right. Life, yeah, and we gonna, we gonna Vera. change. Uh, yeah, we gonna change that one. But I we gonna get this change shot because I'm on it. Because, yeah, yeah, you know what? And I actually had a huge Juneteenth event. I don't know if y'all seen it on the news, but I forgot to send the message out to the committee. I had so many things going on. Oh, the sure. news was there. It was on Channel 18. It was on Channel 4. Um, we had bounce houses and stack races and all kind of stuff. You can still pull it up. I can send you the okay. link if you want to share it with everybody. Sure. Oh, yeah. It was it was great. It was oh, absolutely yeah. great. I had it at Northwest Park. Okay. Yep, and we had I mean we had people I've never oh, seen in my girl, life. Nice. White people, mm -hmm. black people, white and black couples, like all kinds of people I had never seen, don't know them from paint sure. and they showed up. I think there's some uh, conversations at the national level about Juneteenth being a federal holiday. Yeah, there yes. should be. Yes. I mean, why is it not? It should have been. Yeah. Yes. Oh, Lord. Don't, please don't get me started with this man. Yes. I'm out of here. <laughs> we should adjourn. Okay. Yes. Before <laughs> <laughs> So should he. Yes. Yes. Please yes, do. Sorry. Everybody get your absentee ballot. Yes. 7th of July. Take the fire starts yes. accepting absentee ballots. Yes. I know, I because <laughs> uh, Roxanne, yes. she yeah. was on um, the Rachel Maddox show, and I <laughs> sit in front of the TV, I taped it, I put it on FB, she's doing, and they was talking about our is on the ball. But we need to keep it going. We honey. need, to, and, yeah. and we need we to can get reform it. people we really can. to vote and Hey, we get everybody in the police department and mm -hmm. get the sheriff department. Mm -hmm. Even I got Kimball. He comes over and meet with us. Yeah. yeah. The, the deputy, yeah, yeah Chief Kimball. Well, and, you know, even even your neighbors, I, you know, I've said this so many times in one of my Rosetta United neighbors. For a long time, when I started in community development, fencing and, and shrubs and stuff, keep people from knowing and understanding other people. Uh -huh. And, and yeah. when those disappear and you make an effort, mm -hmm. you know, we, I, I tell this to everybody, in our short one block, we have 32 homes and we have 28 dogs. And those 28 dogs get walked up and down the street every day. <laughs> and so you go by your neighbor's house, you know what's new, you say hi to them. You stop so the dogs can visit, and you visit. You know, yeah. it, it, it's those kind of things that you are help so you. right. I've been yeah, on Georgia true. Ridge for 27 years, mm -hmm. and faint siding on the house across the street. Well, they moved to Florida, and when we moved, I told I, told, I took Jafonte and my husband. We walked house to house. I wanted them to know everybody just being nosy. I was at Alcoa, my husband was at John Deere. We're not drug dealers, y'all, because it means they all is in our house. Mm -hmm. So when this guy bought the house across the street, I met his wife. His wife, grandma, was my neighbor on Bell Avenue. Mm -hmm. So I kind of visited, but then he kind of stood up. I said, man, I don't 
we asked him, well, he said he's from Dubuque, so maybe, you know, he don't want to be bothered. <laughs> Well, you know what the but her last week, he came over, he'd been talking, he'd been doing...